this hoodie smells really bad but you can't tell also a new mic you should be able to tell i mean not new mic new mixer welcome to another unscripted rambling video this one will be shorter okay so at this point mato Matala was getting serious kind of as we touched on in the last epi episode we had a lot of members it was everything was going just really fine it was so much fun everybody was having fun loads of fun we had maybe 30 or 40, nearly 40 members probably. And this is when we started to like actually learn how to play. Like at this point we were duoing tunes. Do you could add like ads or offers as they were called. And you could put like what you're willing to offer for what you wanted. So we, we always put like tune for two life potions or something. I at this point started streaming on my, uh, on my laptop. The stream was awful, it was horrible. I couldn't run the stream properly, so it didn't go very well, like at all. Thanks Carol, you left your cover call at my house. My approach to streaming may have been a little bit aggressive. I tried to stream on the highest settings I could, and it ended up choppy and blurry for most of it, all of it. It was not pleasant to look at for anybody. But I enjoyed doing it and I actually got a fair amount of following, like I remember once I had maybe 24 people watching me stream. I remember my strategy was to use, okay so I used auto hotkey a lot actually. Tangent time, some people were against auto hotkey because they felt it was cheating. Auto hotkey is basically this program that lets you change what some keys do and it just runs in the background. You can write scripts and stuff and there was this one person who had written a script for Multimat God which would automatically move your mouse from wherever it was it would look where it is find those coordinates and it had preset location to all of your slots so what it would do is instantly switch there double click switch back so you could switch weapons instantly and they also programmed some of my own auto hotkey things so whenever i clicked whatever button i had it set to it would say in chat hey i'm streaming right now go follow me at www.twitch.tv forward slash n07n4 you should go follow me on twitch.tv forward slash n07n4 i stream i don't have a stream timetable but i stream the, the first like incredible experience i had with streaming was that someone in my guild chat i mean in my uh, stream chat said hey message me in game this is my in game name and i private messaged them and then they invited me to do tunes and that was the stream i did tunes with them for maybe three hours and they wanted me there because i was streaming i felt like a youtuber i felt like a streamer it was it was very much it was a lot of fun shortly after that i got into a wine cellar with me and Fl florian i made a youtube video about it it's no longer up on my channel but i remember freaking out about the fact that Fl florian was talking to me I mean, I know some of the bigger YouTubers in Realm of the Mad God. I guess right now I've done some magic tricks for some of them. Um, I, uh, I, do. I do. I do magic. So this is where it, like, I started to make PPEs very a lot. I watched a video by someone that taught you how to make a good looking thumbnail and I remember I swore by it religiously and I would redo all of my thumbnails with this method using GIMP. And that's still what I do now. And I, I changed my whole look. Like, well, I made a lot of really uh, vary. I made varying levels of PPEs, but I enjoyed what I was doing. I enjoyed it a lot. It was a lot, of, a lot of fun. And this is the part where Realm of the Mad God really got enjoyable, making YouTube videos and being able to kind of chat with them, like an audience. But I was hated on pretty seriously. The most watched video on my channel currently is 2,800 views on my Paladin PPE video, which I may have clickbaited a little bit. The way I saw it when I was making it wasn't, I didn't purposefully clickbait it, because what I had done at that point for every single PPE had, I put the grave to what I got with the PPE, next to a picture of my favorite skin for that character and my favorite set dotted onto it to make it look like they were actually wearing it and i had done this for a few up until this point but the paladin pp really took off because people saw that i had the full black set which is the oryx sword the oreo seal the 
Oryx chestplate and the crown. And people thought that I actually got this, which I completely understand and was fully my idiocity to make it this way. So I completely understand the massive like to dislike ratio, well, dislike to like ratio. But some time went on. So at this point in Matamatala, we had invited a few people here. Um, I'll go more into their details currently, like later on. But Freddy had invited his friend called Nacho King, and we had met this other person called Poopy Boy MC. Now Poopy Boy MC would go on to do damage to the Realm of the Mad, our Matamatala, Rotenji Guild. He's actually the reason that Matamatala broke apart. And I don't have any beef with him or anything, any, any, anything like this. That's not what this video is about. I'm not trying to hate on him whatsoever. Literally everything that's happened with this was just a bunch of kids taking things too seriously. So what happened is Nacho King and Mikael really got to know each other and became really good friends just like me and Freddy had. And a Poopy Boy MC would constantly keep kind of making fun of Mikael. So Matomatala, when it was created, it was originally created by Keku. He was the founder of Matomatala. He had invited me and made me a leader. And then we had Mikael's browser account in the guild as leader. When all of us moved to a different guild for a little bit before Matomatala blew up, when we all came back, none of us was founder. We were all leader. So I messaged Kabam's email, well, emailed Kabam, and I got them to make me the founder so I could actually like properly and he just constantly kept making fun of him for no reason and I told him like hey listen that's not cool you're not supposed to do that we're like everybody's chill here with each other so like don't do that that's not what we're about and he just kept like kind of bullying him every now and then so then I was like okay that's it I've had it stopped playing realm for a bit I threatened everybody in the guild that I was going to kill my knight. Now the reason my knight was important is because it's the first ever character that I got to 6 out of 8, and the first ever character that I got to 7 out of 8, and the first character that I ever got to 8 out of 8, and it's over 5 years old, the, the character. My knight is over 5 years old, it's been an 8 out of 8 character for over 4 years. It took an insane amount and I've played on it for way more than I should have ever. I don't play on it that much anymore. It only has like 6,000 fame or 7,000 fame or something, which is ridiculously little. But I haven't played on it that much because I don't want to lose it at this point. Because it's the first, it's definitely, I used to be a proper knight main, I guess. And now I'm, I don't really play knight that much, I don't like it as much but that night is like it's been serious and like as soon as I said I was gonna suicide my night if people didn't calm down everybody just calmed down and I, I remember being semi serious about it I got to the lava in the godlands and I, I started like killing myself in the lava and I got to like halfway to an exist and then just logged off for a week and we then went to visit our father in Finland and while on a train ride on my laptop I used the Wi-Fi on the train to log on to Matamatala. Basically, Poopy Boy MC had said something again on TeamSpeak, and just I remember just in this furious rage, I logged on to Matamatala. Everybody was like, "Hey, Natna, what's up? I thought you were in Finland. Whatever, let's play." And I went straight to the guild board, kicked everybody out of Matamatala, and then left. I don't exactly know why I did this. I was just very angry. I blame Poopy Boy MC, but it was me. I, I killed Matamatala. We gathered what was left of Matamatala and patched together the vindicated villains. I made a, a recruitment video that I uploaded to my YouTube channel with a text to voice bot calling everybody subway employees. I'm not sure why, but to me that was hilarious. I mean, it, it still is a little, but that's, that's what happened to Matamatala, unfortunately. Matamatala died because I kicked everybody in a, in a rage created by this, this boy from America that insulted my younger brother. Um, 
Matamatala is open again and currently active. You can see in my background footage that I am in fact in Matamatala again. The Vindicated Villains did not last very long. We stopped Vindicated Villains and found our way back into Matamatala after everybody had quit. But after Matamatala broke and Vindicated Villains failed, me, Mikael, Keku and Renno, the last bits of what was left of this stayed and together and tried to find other guilds to go to. We went through a few and started a nomadic lifestyle, living without a home or a guild and tried to rise up the ranks of the no guilds. This got boring very quickly, however, and we switched to a few guilds and I'm gonna go into more detail about these other guilds in the next video. This has been Notna. Bye. Yeah, yeet! That was a masterpiece of a video, wasn't it? For more content like this, consider subscribing! Bingo, bango, bongo. Bish, bash, bosh. Peace! Peace.